Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are doing a get ready with me and I'm gonna do a second look with the Natasha Denona pastel palette and I will test some LYS products. So if you're curious about that, please keep on watching. Hi guys, so in today's video, we are gonna do a get ready with me and we are gonna test some newer products to me. I got two products from LYS Beauty. I got a Nars lipstick. This one is from a friend, so I didn't break my no buy. I got the Vive Skin Nova. And we are gonna do another look with the Natasha Denona pastel palette. I'm gonna use the Metropolis just to see how um, they work together. But first I need to assess the situation. I bought a new ring light and that one is lighting my face. But I need to figure out the lighting because right now I look a bit too pink and my background looks a bit too greenish, maybe from the plants. I'm not sure I will work on it. I think at the end of this month, you are gonna see another video with the old light, but starting from this video, I'm trying to figure out this ring light <laughs> and the light and everything. But let's stop rumbling and start doing some makeup. I got this Vive Skin Nova Instant Radiance Primer. I got this from a friend as well. This is a mini. And let's see how this one looks. Okay, it's orange. It's very lightweight. I kind of like how it feels on the skin. I'm going to put a bit more on the forehead as well. I think it smells kind of citrusy. But I'm not that good with smells, so... I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, my skin looks a bit red because I have that type of skin. If you touch it, it's getting a bit red. I want to use the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin again, and we are using a new sponge. This one is from a brush art, and it's the normal <laughs> color. It seems kind of dense, so I think I'm gonna punch my face with with this one, but it's totally fine. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin in number two. And this one, it's a bit dark for my complexion right now because it's still kind of winter, but it's okay. Yeah, this one, it's, I'm beating my face with it because it's that dense, but it's okay. And I really like this foundation. It's of course dewy, so we are gonna have a pretty glowy complexion today. And today I finally got my order from Udensai. I ordered the, the Hella palette and I will film it. it. It will be my next video and I'm so excited. Okay, so this is how my skin looks. It looks pretty good but i already know that i like that foundation so yeah we are gonna use these two concealers this one is the catrice true skin in number 20 and i have the elf camo concealer is the matte one and the shade light sand and i'm mixing them because one is too light and one is too dark i have this talent to get always my wrong shade <laughs> it's like a quest for all concealers that I want to try, I need to get or a very light shade or a very dark shade. <laughs> I have no idea how that's always happening. I already know that I don't like the sponge. Too dense and too heavy. But yeah, it, it works. It's, it's okay. Let's use some cream products right now and I'm gonna use the powder afterwards. We're gonna use the ABH bronzer. I have the shade Golden 10, which again, it's a bit too dark for me, but it's fine. I'm using a brush. Whoa, I put too much in here, oops. I love that this bronzer is so easy to blend out. So I'm putting just a lot of it and 
I'm just blending with the sponge and it's just melting into the skin. I really love this bronzer. Let's move into blush. I have this one from LYS and I'm very, very excited to use it. I have the shade Confident and it looks like this. So on this side I will use directly the sponge and on the other side I'm gonna use this brush. I just clean it a bit and we are gonna see how I prefer it but let's try to swatch it. It's so so creamy. I'm very interested if this will dry down. Okay so sponge. Let's see how pigmented this is. Oh, it's a beautiful color. I already like it. But let's try the brush as well. I think I picked too much with the brush. but We can see how well it's blending. And of course I need to poke my eye a bit. I think maybe it's a bit better with the sponge. Just because... It just diffuses the color better. I love it. It's so, so beautiful. After powder and highlighter, I will show you my skin a bit closer. We are using the LYS powder as well. And I have the shade Resilience. And we are going to use a brush. This one is from Killies. And let's see. I already know that in here, just on this part, not on the other one, I don't like how the concealer blended on top of the foundation and primer. I don't know what happened, but it's not the powder's fault at least. And this is not getting hard pan, which is great. Okay, so powder is down. I feel like this powder is very lightweight. So if you have very oily skin, I don't think this will be for you, but it looks really really good right now i'm using the catrice highlighter this is the shade 010 i want just to add a bit more blush and i'm using the sponge because i think it's the best way and it looks stunning on top of powder as well let's turn down this light a bit Yes, I have a remote for this <laughs> this one. Let's see like this. As you can see right in here, you didn't blend it very well. I hope you can see something, but I really like the blush. Yeah, I modified the light and now I think it's different, but I will figure it out at some point. Okay, let's do lips. And we are going to move into brows. So I will use the Vive lip pencil. And I have the shade Bark. I really like this lip pencil. I have the NARS lipstick in the shade Orgasm. And I have the Satin Formula. And it looks like this. Let's have a swatch. It has some shimmer in it. I don't know what to think about it. It's a bit sheer and it has some shimmer in it. I mean, it looks okay on the lips, but it's not my favorite formula. I prefer a matte lipstick if it's in a bullet form. If it's something more glossy, I prefer a gloss. But yeah, I don't think this will become my favorite lipstick. We are using MAC Deep Brunette. This one is the... What I'm saying. This is the MAC Velux Brow Liner. And this is the shade Deep Brunette. And I like this pencil. It's not the perfect color for me. I think it's a bit too dark. Even though my... My hair is pretty dark, but it's okay. I really love the spoolie in here. 
it's a great spoolie. I think that it has a bit of red in it as well. And I really don't like that either. So I like the formula, but the color is not my favorite. And I don't think I like the formula better than the NYX one. So I'm still trying to find a better pencil than the NYX one. I'm using the brow glue now. I'm trying to find a better one than the NYX one, but that one is not it. I don't even know why I'm trying to find something better because I like that one. But I like testing products, so I always, I always try to find something even better. I'm using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter now. I'm gonna use a bit of the Huda Beauty Easy Bake just to put under the eyes. I always do that and I always put too much. For eye primer I'm using the Natasha Denona one and I have the shade Light Beige. This is my favorite. I really like it. Just looking at this lipstick, I really don't like it. So I'm gonna remove it and put something else. I will put the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. Yeah, so this lipstick is too, too shimmery and it's an orange as well. I don't like it. So for this eye look, I want to use the green shades and I will add some greens from here as well. So I'm gonna use this Zoeva 234 and this shade which is called Royal and yes I put this palette back on so I hope this is Royal I hope I put it back on because I like it how it is better than how I arrange it for some reason and I'm gonna put this green in here I don't know if these two palettes will work because this is a very foresty green and in the pastel palette we have more turquoise shades. I really don't have any idea if this will work but we are doing it. So I'm taking this smaller brush, this is a Sigma E42 in the shade Brisk and let's blend them. Maybe they will work. I want to use the zest shade as well, this one. Oh, I didn't zoom you in. Let's zoom you in a bit as well. I will drag this green on the lower lash as well. Let's use this zest shade first. And I will use this brush. Where we are gonna put it though? Let's put it actually on the lower lash. So I'm gonna use a brush like this. Wow, look at this, so poppy. I'm impressed. We are gonna use this Adriatic on the outer edge here and then Mint Frost. Mint, mint Frost, <laughs> I didn't show you. Uh, in here, in the inner part. So let's take a brush. I really need to clean my brushes. They are very dirty, but we are taking Adriatic and I'm spraying it. I'm putting it right here. These are so stunning. And I'm using the same brush and mint frost. I need to decide now for an inner corner highlight. Maybe use a gold from here. Maybe this one. Let's see how that looks. No, no, no. Abort mission, abort mission, this is too dark. <laughs> okay, then let's use zest in the inner corner as well. And we are doing a matte inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna put a green pencil on the waterline and the essence mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. I didn't put any lashes on, which feels weird and yeah, I um, grown to love lashes so much, but it's 
7 p.m. so I really don't feel like wearing lashes right now but I love the look so let's do a roundup so the Vive thingy the skin nova I need to test it more my skin looks great right now I don't know what happened there but it could be user error as well so I need to test this more for the lipstick I already know that I don't like it it's too creamy and it has shimmer in it which I don't really love and I already know that I'm not gonna use it so maybe I will pass it to a friend for the LYS product I already know that I'm gonna love the blush if this wears good as well it will become one of my favorite because look at it it looks amazing for the powder I'm not that convinced yet I'm glad that it didn't get hard panned but I mean my skin looks good right now so I need to wear this longer I don't really like the packaging for this one the powder because it gets fingerprinty really easily but I understand that they need to be different for the palette is the second time using it and I already love it of course these colors are pretty soft and you are not gonna get a dark look or a colorful look but if I'm mixing it with other palettes it looks just great I really like it and considering that I used only one shade from here I used just this royal shade this one it looks really good I really like it so yeah okay so this was the video if you like it and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and I will see you next time